Okay, guys, so you already know the deal. We hear the debate all of the time. How much screen time is too much? Yeah, it's Real a question talk. that everyone's asking, but this time we're talking about it for our kids. Yeah. So here to tell us what we need to know is GVMC's Dr. Timothy Doran. Welcome so much. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Of course. I mean, so. this is a, like the way that our world is right now. <laughs> Everybody's in front of a screen. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Uh, constantly. And these kids, and they're starting so young. So yeah. let's talk about the pros and cons of all these digital devices. Yeah, so, so certainly there are pros, and, and we took a dogmatic approach a number of years ago mm -hmm. in terms of limiting screen time, but we know now there are advantages. Social media has advantages. There are educational components. So we actually have altered our recommendations based on those, those issues. Really? Oh, really? So what are the new recommendations? Well, we used to say no more than an hour for anybody. And no more just, than an hour? Well, that's unreasonable. Okay, I, mean, it's right. just, I was about to say, that's yeah. right. definitely not So the average teenager <laughs> spends about seven hours a day in front of a screen. Oh my gosh, so that's one hour is pretty, right, is pretty harsh. Yes. Gotcha. Um, so uh, the recommendations from the American, American Academy of Pediatrics are we really don't want kids on screens before they're, they're two. And then from two to five, maybe an hour, and then from then on, two hours. So, in fact, that's pretty hard to maintain also. Right. But uh, there are things we can do to limit screen time to help parents. And yeah. parents are part of it because they have exactly. to be aware of their usage as well. Oh, so yeah, they're setting an example. They certainly are, and we know that. And, and we know that in terms of interacting with their children, if they're on a screen and they're mm -hmm. giving that example, it's not going to be conducive to the child limiting their screen time. Yeah, let's, sure. so let's dig more into the cons. Yeah, so the cons are that the, the big three cons are that the obesity is much higher in children who use lots and are on the front of a screen lots and lots. Um, in terms of their physical activity, it, it, they're not physically active and that's bad for them. Um, their attention, they have attention problems, a lot of kids who are on screens all the time, and it interrupts their sleep. So there's a lot of mm. medical, documented medical uh, co complications from too much screen time. Sure. So how do parents go about actually limiting that time, especially if the kids are <coughs> resistant to it? Yeah, so the first thing is to develop a media plan. So you need, really need to sit down with your children and come up with a plan. W what's reasonable? What, what kind of activities are okay? And then you can set out certain things like device-free zones. So meals should never have, nobody should, the parent or the child should not have. Can we do high five on that? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're eating at a restaurant yes. and like people are like, they did study, They did studies in a restaurant of parents with their children. And they turned out that 80% of their parents were on, were taking calls during a meal at a restaurant. And that's crazy. Everybody knows that's crazy. And I know it's crazy too. And, it's just very hard. People have really, yeah. st really stuck to their phones, completely especially. Absorbed. Yeah. Yeah. Right, completely absorbed. What about parents who are like, oh, my kids are being active. They're playing Wii Sports. <laughs> <laughs> there certainly are some that parents can, if they're involved, if they're, you know, work with them on a game like that, it's totally fine. Okay. But it, it's really a matter of, of monitoring and making sure that they're doing things on a screen that are really good for them, educational activities you can do on gotcha. screens. Gotcha, so parents really need to just be vetting the programs that they're They really need to be involved like. in their children's lives mm -hmm. in, in an, and they have to be focused in and not Very distracted. Sure. And having yeah. a healthy balance because, you know, we live in a world where, you know, this is technology, this mm -hmm. is digital, it's very important, but at the same time we need to have moderation with everything. That's right. That's mm -hmm. exactly the right thing. And to be more active. I mean, right. what do you do to prevent that? Well, you, what you do is you're more active with your children. You you take them out to museums and to uh, national monuments and you, you play with them. I mean, that's what children actually need is they need play. Um, and they actually need some unstructured play. So that means exactly. nothing. That means they just are by themselves and they have make up their own yeah. games like you did when you were kids. Absolutely. Which right. I did. It fosters creativity. Exactly. Yes, exactly. And, and actually, the, the, I uh, just was at a, a meeting with uh, the Children's Museum in Baltimore, which is a great resource. Nice. And University of Maryland trying to develop, uh, you know, sort of advice to parents as how they can get children active and, and involved in play, which mm -hmm. is really important for children. Take it back to the basics. Right. right. Any good insights yeah. that you can bring to us from that meeting, how parents can get more involved in their kids' lives? Well, I mean, it really is that. It's getting more active, getting more involved in their lives and, and participating and not being, not being distant from them, really becoming involved in what they're doing. And, and, you know, for instance, exercise. We know that when parents exercise, 
with their children that their children are going to be more apt to exercise on their own. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that parents can do to, to help foster um, disengagement from screens. Absolutely. Right. Well, we appreciate having you. Yeah, we do. I great. know we could go on for days about yes, this. Yes, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot to cover, but thank you for having me. Of Let's course. all bring balance in our life. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And there's a website up on your screen if you would like to learn more for yourself. Thanks so much, Doctor. You're welcome. All right, well, up next, check out the one-stop shop for you to play or stay. Speaking of playing, we'll be right back here at Be More Lifestyle. <laughs>